In the next few months, and potentially on a yearly basis, you may hear of variant-specific boosters for COVID-19. And these boosters are very similar to ones one would receive for a different type of pathogen, such as the flu, which is predicted year after year in order for us to have that annual shot. And I wanted to break down how these variant-specific boosters actually work in regards to mRNA technology. So before, when SARS-CoV-2 would infect an individual, that would allow that virus to replicate. So what companies did that were working on mRNA technology is they looked for the sequence of the mRNA that makes up the spike protein, one of the proteins found on the outside of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Those mRNA instructions were then given to us in the form of a vaccine, so our bodies could make the spike protein and then elicit an immune response against it. So that way they could be on the lookout in case they ran into that protein in the future via a SARS-CoV-2 infection, we would have a stronger chance of fighting it off. However, unfortunately, as that virus replicates inside of our bodies, that's also what allows it to have mutations. And some of those mutations occur on that spike protein. So this can be changes to different amino acids, and this is what allows for different variants to be named, such as the beta variant, or the delta variant, or the very common Omicron variant currently. So in order for companies to develop these variant specific boosters, what they did was they needed to work backwards and look at where these mutations occur on the current spike protein of that mutated form of SARS-CoV-2 and then design a new mRNA strand that takes into account the instructions for those specific regions that have been mutated. You can think of it kind of like a pie where you're removing the filling, you're maybe making a few modifications to that recipe and then you're filling that pie back up. So it's still the same pie that you received before, the delivery is the same, the outside is the same, such as that LNP. However, the coded region inside has slightly changed. Now, when that variant-specific mRNA is administered to us in the form of a vaccine, it allows our bodies to make that mutated form of the spike protein. So maybe it's the Omicron form of the spike protein, and then our bodies can create a more robust response against the Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2, thus allowing us to be a bit more protected against a SARS-CoV-2 infection in case you come in contact with it in the future.